everyone, this is Brennan here from bshep.net, and in this tutorial we're going to be modeling the chest of drawers. Here's the finished model of the chest of drawers that we're going to be modeling. And it's available for download for downloading on blendswap.com. I'm pretty sure it's .com. I'll have to check that, but I will leave the links down below in the description. And I will leave this reference image as well to download. And you can follow along this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's click File, New, right here at the top menu. This is actually the Info menu, as you can see. Let's click on File, New. Click on Reload Startup File. And let's start from scratch. Let's delete this cube. And I might just leave the camera and the light where it is. Let's just start from front view or numpad one. And actually, I'm going to turn on the screencast keys, which actually is not, I don't have that add on enabled. So I'll go ahead and do that. User preferences. Screen, oops, screencast keys, check the box, go back to info, bring it up. Let's go to front view or numpad one. Press on your numpad, oh, okay. Then press five to go into orthographic view. So it says front ortho, which means front view. We are in front ortho view. So I'm going to turn on these screencast keys. You can see what I'm doing here. Actually, we're going to leave this menu out. And by uh, pressing N, as you can see right here, I press N to open this side menu. So you press N. And let's go ahead and add a background image in. And this will be our reference to modeling this chest of drawers. Let's click on Add Image. And as you can see, there's nothing there load it in. So we'll have to click open, locate our reference image, which is actually mine. I'm not sure where this thing is. Uh, where did I put this? Here it is. All right, there we go. Load in your, select your image, and click on it, open, and there it is. Chest of drawers. Now what you wanna do is, we are going to, let's start by adding a cube. Let's bring this cube up, drag it up, press G, Z to lock it to the Z axis. Drag it all the way up with the mouse. And to place it, you left click. So let's start from where I was first. I'm right here. I'm going to press G, Z. Bring the mouse up. Left click. And there we go. I placed it. Now I'm going to scale this to match this. Um, height of this edge right here. So let's go ahead and press S, Z to lock it to the Z axis to scale up and down vertically. Let's press S, Z and drag the mouse. You can pretty much drag the mouse anyway, but let's just drag the mouse in. Drag your cursor in and that's about right. Scale it to the same size as that edge. And now let's scale it outwards, horizontally. Try to match this edge. There we go, should be good. Now what we're gonna do from here, we're going to add an edge loop in. And the way we do that is by 
pressing Control R on the keyboard. So pressing Control R. Now let's delete these vertices right here. Click Delete. And let's add a mirror modifier to mirror that side over. So now everything we do on this side will be the same on that side. So everything we modeled on this side will mirror over and look the same on this side. So let's go ahead and go, let's size scale this. Uh, just say about let's do s y 2 that should be good scale it two blender units on the y axis let's go to front view then pad 1 and we're going to go ahead and add another edge loop left click to add it to place it and just drag with your mouse to place to move this around let's place it right here and now what we're going to do is we are going to extrude from here down so let's go ahead and select this box select it actually what we're going to do let's see what we're going to do is we're going to make, because as you can see in this image, let's hide this, there's a shadow around the edge because this whole top piece is all sticking off of this bottom piece down here. So this is basically like a top on top of a bowl or something. And we're going to need to extrude it, extrude the edges out so it comes out over this piece right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Alt H to unhide. And let's see, we're going to add an edge loop right here, drag it over about there. Actually let's add two edge loops like that. You just Press Control R, and then use the scroll, the sc mouse scroll wheel, to add two. Press S X, or actually S Y, excuse me, and scale it out to about there. That's probably good. And let's go ahead and extrude this now. Extrude this piece right here. This face. And right here, these are all the different uh, ways to select your object. Here are the vertices, edges, and faces. Let's select faces. Let's go into front view. And press E on the keyboard to extrude. Let's bring it down to about there. And let's do it again. E extrude. And let's correct this right here, this vertice. Let's move it over. Select vertex. Select. And let's drag that out on the x axis to match the curve right there. And let's go ahead and add right here. We're going to add an edge loop right there. So let's uh, press Control R, drag this up right there, and let's go ahead and extrude this right here. I'm going to extrude this down to match that. And then let's add an edge loop here through this this way and this is the x-axis extruded on the x-axis and 
around. Let's add another edge loop here. Select this. B to box select. E to extrude. And let's go ahead and turn on snapping, vertex snapping. You can also get to that by control shift tab. You can get to that same menu right here by pressing on your keyboard control shift tab and then selecting vertex. So we're going to do vertex snapping. So we press G, Z on the keyboard, hold down control and hover over the vertice and as you can see it snaps right to the vertice. So it's perfect. Only thing is we need to uh, select these vertices. Make sure you have all those vertices selected. And let's press G and X on the keyboard and hold down Control. And let's snap to those vertices right there. And there we go. Now all we have to do is press A on the keyboard to select everything. And press W and then click on remove doubles and now you can see there's two vertices that were removed that were removed and they were these two vertices merged and it's like the two it the two overlapping vertices just merged together which forms this right here so let's do the same thing right here let's select this face press e to extrude let's drag this over actually let's see what Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just press G, X, snap to those, press, select all, W, remove doubles. Let's go ahead and drag these vertices to the left. And we'll add an edge loop right here and drag this a little bit over. And... We're going to need to fill in this face back here because the drawers are going to go right here. The drawers. And for the drawers, all we're going to have to do is basically add a cube to fill in the space. Let's go ahead and add a cube, scale it down to fit. Move this, scale it along the x axis. You can actually do snapping, s, x, and then snap to that vertice right there. Let's scale a little bit smaller. And as you can see, it's not long enough, so we'll have to scale it on the y axis. S, y. There we go. And let's leave it a little bit. What I did was I left it a little bit behind this vertice right here. So not all the way up front, up to the front. So let's go ahead and fill these faces in back here. To go right. Actually, let's just do it like this. Let's add an edge loop right here. Left click. Fill in these faces, select each one, press F on the keyboard, select these, press F, and perfect. It's all filled in, everything's good to go. Now let's add the drawer to the other side by selecting the drawer first, selecting the dresser piece, and pressing Control J on the keyboard, and there we go. Our drawer has been duplicated or mirrored, whoops, as you can see, there it is. Now all I have to do to add realism is select these, delete faces, and now the drawer is hollow, or you can put stuff in it. So let's go ahead and snap it back, bring it back a little bit, 
we go. If it's not popping out. All right. Let's go front view. Let's finish this thing up. Select these vertices. Extrude. Actually, I forgot. Let me do this. Well, we actually could do that. I can extrude like this. And then extrude again. Extrude again. Extrude again. Just to match that right there. Now all we have to do is select these faces and delete them. Actually, not these faces. These faces. Delete these faces. And now we have the same thing as this right here. Well, the problem is this right here needs to be extruded back. So... You can do that. It's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do that. Select them. E, extrude. Wait. Wait a minute. Let me try this just to make sure. Extrude. Hmm. Those faces aren't. Yeah, we'll go ahead and bring it back along the Y axis, snap to this vertex right here, select all, remove doubles, and we'll go ahead and fill in these faces right here. Alrighty, we're done with that. And in the original model, I actually didn't model. I didn't. Uh, the origin, original 3D model of the chest of drawers, I didn't model this top. These top drawers. But we got to model it, so it's great. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Let's start. Start modeling. Start extruding this right here. Extrude one a few more times. Just extrude to that piece. Extrude down here. Extrude. 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 And there we go. Perfect. Now let's bring this in right there. And let's add an edge loop right here. Let's see. Yeah, should be good. I'll add one more edge loop right there. Bring it out. Try to round that out right there. Drag it up. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and add the drawers for these right here. What we can do is just select this drawer by selecting one vertice of this drawer. Pressing Control L on the keyboard, Shift D to duplicate, and then let's press G Z Control, and just hold down Control, hover over this vertice, and there we go, perfectly snapped to the next level. Now let's do that again, right there. Perfect. Finished six drawers. Now let's see what we have left. We have these drawers. Six more drawers to go. So let's go ahead and go into face mode and delete this face. And this face and this face. We can actually extrude back like that. Could add some thickness to this right here in the back, but it's not necessary, so we'll just go ahead and delete the face, like so, and we'll do the same thing we did for the other drawers, by extruding this all the way back here, selecting it, pressing W, remove doubles, and let's fill in these faces.
And let's extrude this down because there's no thickness to the bottom. And, well, that will be down here. So, we'll just finish that in a little while. Let's go to front view. Let's check this. Let's add the drawers for these right here, these three drawers. And I forgot actually to add this piece right here. Let's go ahead and extrude all of these pieces. Actually these two. Select all of them. Press E to extrude. Bring it all the way back. A. Remove doubles. And let's go ahead and fill in all these faces. There we go. Fill in all the faces. Now let's go, let's add some drawers. So what we're going to do for these, we can do the same thing, we'll just have to size them a little bit because these are a little bit bigger. Let's duplicate this, Shift D. Let's snap it to this vertice right there. And this is actually, let's see, yeah that's the wrong place. So let's bring this right here. You can just Select this, bring it all the way up, right about there. Just drag this up a little bit, and perfect. Now all we have to do is add that drawer again. Select it, Control L, duplicate it. Let's press, con hold down Control, bring that down. And all we have to do is select this top face G, Z on the keyboard, hold down control, snap it to this vertice right there. Now we have another drawer, two more drawers actually, and that's perfect. Actually I noticed that this is not even flush with the top of the drawer. So let's select this, G, Z, snap it to the top. That looks pretty much, yeah, that looks bad. That looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and select this, duplicate it, snap it there. Select this top face, G, Z on the keyboard. Hold down Control, snap it. Let's select this vertice. Let's duplicate this. Snap it to the bottom. Come on. There we go. Select the top face. Top face. GZ. Let's snap this. Okay. Perfect. There's all our drawers. Finished and done and dusted. Alright. Let's select this bottom face right there. And actually deselect this drawer because it's being selected. What is going on? Eh, what's that? Wait, these verses. Yeah, let's go ahead and select this. Okay, there we go. Select this and extrude all the way down. Extrude this down, and let's extrude the legs. And the way that we do that is we have to add an edge loop. Let's add two edge loops. Size them out on the y-axis, and about that thick. And let's go ahead and select these faces. Extrude the legs down. Let's make sure they're same length, and that's perfect. There we are. There's four legs on this dresser. And it's looking great. 
Although it might need to be a little bit wider. So it's no problem, I could just scale it up along the y-axis. Actually, I could do that. Edit mode. I'll just scale it up a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to work on... Let's go ahead and work on this top piece right here. Let's extrude going to extrude this piece out and then for this right here this hole right here I actually used a boolean which I probably didn't need to use boolean modifier uh, let's go ahead and make this add an edge loop for this piece huh. must be these vertices right here I'm going to go ahead and have to fix this Let's see, I'll just have to leave that for now. We'll go ahead and add an edge loop here, move it out, and we will extrude this. To be the same size as that, and actually, it's not even that far, so about just check to see how far this is yeah about that far uh, we can actually s move it in like that and extrude and let's go ahead add an edge loop here let's move it up to be the same as that let's move these middle ones up and that should be good wait a minute what did I just do Great. Let me select it, all of these. Make sure you don't select the whole entire top face like I just did. And let's extrude this again. One more time. Add another edge loop. Another one. And one more. Let's select all these edges, or well, actually one at a time, S, X, 0, to straighten them out. Again, S, X, 0, S, X, 0, S, X, 0. And that's not lined up with this. All you have to do is press G, X, Control, and then snap to that right there. And I forgot, I shouldn't be selecting that. GX. For some reason, something's going on. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe if I don't select that right there. Just go front. GX. Snap. There we go. That should be fine. And for some reason, there's a huge dent in the front of the dresser. No idea why. We can fix that by just selecting the weird dent that I just made. And that's weird, it's on both sides. But all we have to do to fix that is press G, Y, snap to the vertices. Looks like it's here too. Select it. Snap it back. And it's a little weird. There we go. And that should fix it. And let me select this here. Let's fix this. It's all broken. Select that there. 
GY snap to that right there. And it looks like it's doing better, but I'm going to go ahead and this looks crooked, so press S zero S Y zero. And actually let's select this whole face just to make sure it's all lined up perfectly. S Y zero. As you can see it moved and it wasn't perfectly lined up. So there we go. There's the back piece, pretty much. Let's work on this some more. Maybe we can model this right here. Let's add some edge loops in. So another edge loop there. Another one here. One more there. We can make this shape. Let's see if we can match the shape and then extrude in or make a hole because there's actually a hole all the way to the back. So, And let's delete this face that's in, in here. Shouldn't be a face in there. Another one. Might actually be faces all the way down. And yes, there are. So let's go in front view, select all these faces here, let's delete faces, I think I missed one, maybe I didn't, just to check, just to make sure, I'll select all these vertices, and let's delete on the keyboard, faces, and there we go, it's empty. There shouldn't be any faces in the center, otherwise it will mess it up. So, let's select these faces, extrude them in, and we can actually just select all of these. Delete faces, and now there's a hole through it. It was actually a better idea to just well, I can just select these vertices, extrude, snap to these, and remove doubles. There we go, that's the basic shape. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the basic shape right there. And let's just try to smooth it out a bit. Let's add one here, one there. Let's drag it out. these out and that should be good for now let's just check that it looks pretty good all right so that does it that's pretty much uh, almost everything Let's go ahead and start modeling the handles for the drawers. Select this right here. Actually, place the cursor right there. Let's make sure it's in a good spot. Why don't we just start on this side? And because there's no vertices over there, so uh, we actually could do that by turning on this right here. Makes it look like both sides are not really mirrored but they really are see because you can you can edit it from either side yeah. so let's just leave uh, this off this setting off let's go ahead and select the front face of this drawer cursor shift s so, uh, press shift s on the keyboard cursor to select it and now if you add an object right here, it will be put on the front face of this drawer. Just go ahead, and go ahead and model this piece. And I'm not really sure what this piece looks like, but I'm pretty sure I can tell there's little hinges. I mean, there's little knobs that hold the, hold the handle on. 
those little cylinder like type things that the knob can stick through and I'll show you what I mean in a, in a little while so let's go ahead and I just added a cube start extruding it match the shape let's extrude this out another one and let's take a look at it from here let's add a subsurf modifier and select smooth in this side menu press T to open this uh, press T on the keyboard to open this menu smooth it and let's add some more edge loops to sharpen this sharpen it a bit in the back we can actually delete this face back here let's delete that face and bring it up closer to the surface Go to front view. Let's make this sharp right here, this edge. And let's check up on this. Yeah. Because that's looking okay. It's not quite the same as the one I modeled before. Let me go ahead and check. Oh, never mind. I'll just go ahead and do it like this. Should be fine. Just trying to match this image as much as you can without having uh, pretty much any reference images, uh, detailed reference images on these on these uh, handle things these handles actually that's as you can see I just when I looked at them like this this edge right here is rounded so let's let's round that <coughs> let's round that edge and also these edges are rounded it appears to be that they are rounded like this Bring this up a little bit more. Let's see. Bring this down a bit more. And that should be good. Let's go ahead and let's let's uh, press Control J to mirror that over and we're going to have to duplicate this we can actually add an, an array modifier right, let's go ahead and select this press P on the keyboard to make it its own object let's add an array modifier change this to 0 let's change this to 1 right. Where's that? That's backwards. Let's use this, which this should be Z. Let's do negative five on the Z axis. Let's see where that ended up. Let's move it back a bit, up a bit. Let's do negative 3.5. Hmm. Negative 3.6. Yeah, I'll just do negative 3.7. Alright, let's add more. Let's see how that goes. It's not quite exactly the right distance. 
but it pretty much matches it, so... Uh, let's see. One more set. And let's go ahead and apply it so that we can edit. Edit these the ones that aren't matching up. Let's drag that down there. Let's drag this down here. And it's pretty much matched up, so... Let's add the subsurf modifier again. Control 2 on the keyboard. Make sure it's smooth. Yes, it's smooth. And let's do work on the handle, and we should be done. Let's add some cylinders right here. Wait a minute. Add mesh cylinder. Scale this down. Scale it down. Like this. Let's go in the right view. We're going to make one of these at one of these sides flat. Like this. Let's select that whole area and let's just let's duplicate this and this will be where the handle will go. We'll stick in. So duplicate this over this side. Actually Snap it to a vertex. Hmm. Let me turn on incremental increment movements. So I'll just move it there. And from here, I'll try to match the same distance. It doesn't really match. So, snap it to the center vertex. Replace this here, actually. Actually, it'd be about. Put this here and this here. Right here. And now that is where the hinges will go through. So I'll add this to this. And now it's mirrored. Smooth it. Add in two edge loops. Scale them up. Add in two edge loops. Scale them up. And now, what's going on here? Looks like we have some overlaying vertices. Vertices overlaying each other. Hmm. Like this and press S Y zero, and then this edge loop S Y zero. There we go. Fix that. Hopefully not all of these are the same, and it looks like they are. So let's delete all of them and delete vertices, and we'll just duplicate this. We'll just go ahead and do it the other. Let's go ahead and duplicate this in vertice mode. Select it, Shift D, drag it down. G Z on the keyboard. Let's keep doing that. Shift D, duplicate these. Actually, I think it would be a better idea to just finish this one and then duplicate it. Otherwise, we sit around deleting and then reduplicating takes it longer time 
and just just takes a longer time so uh, faster way to do it would be to just model one then duplicate it so let's model the handle for this piece here oh here's a cube let's add this cube scale it and let's scale it some more duplicate I mean not duplicate extrude 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 and right here we can extrude on there we can scale this let's just do that select these faces extrude up and actually it's not even in the right spot so let's drag it out where it should be and as you can see there's our handle we want to add a subsurf modifier smooth it confront view again and oh, this isn't yeah, that's that's good S, uh, S Z to flatten those edges. Let's add edge loops. Uh, let's move this up. Add an edge loop here, edge loop there. Drag it up. It's actually S Z zero, and we're going to extrude these pieces here. Scale them in on the x-axis and now we have our handle so the way it would work this right here would be the origin and the handle would swing like this and there'd be holes through this right here so let's go ahead and duplicate this This might be sticking out way too much. So let's stick, let's select these size, scale them down a bit. Move that in a bit. Move it down a bit. And that should be fine. Oh, yes. Let's add this to, let's join these. Select this handle first, make sure you have it selected and not this first because the mirror modifier will be I'll just show you if I join this, everything that had to do with this object this handle will take away from what this already had so this had a mirror modifier and we, we just want to join this with the one with the piece that already had the mirror modifier and not vice versa. So let's select this. Oh, wait, let's control Z out of here. There we go. Select the handle. Select this piece. Control J to join. And there we go. Finally, finish the handle. Let's go to front view. Duplicate this multiple times to match up with this image, reference image, and just keep duplicating it, duplicating it, duplicating it. Let me check up on this again. Looks like this might be like this, actually. Like that. But it's no big deal. That should be fine. Alright. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you soon on another tutorial. Or I hope to I hope I make another tutorial and I hope it's a good one. <laughs>
Thank you very much for watching, and as I already said earlier, uh, like, subscribe, comment, and most of all, keep watching.